and like something you can actually go to a salon and get done. So I'm happy about the wig. I hope that you like this review. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Please subscribe to me. I have a small amount of subscribers, which I love, but I want to subscribe. This sensation is Catherine. And a color 613. But the wig that I'll be reviewing today is by none other than one of my favorite wig companies. And that is Isis. And it is a silk lace human hairstyle mixed wig. And I have her in the style BS601 in the color F1B30. That Let me take the stock part out so you can see it. This is how the stock part looks. I don't know if it's focusing or not. I've been looking at this wig and researching this wig for a long time. I'm talking about over a year now. And I got another brown sugar wig that I did a review to. And I'll link that video below also. And that one was a bob cut with a bang in the front. And it was gorgeous. So I wanted a regular bob cut just to get the bangs out of my face. So I got this one. Like I said, it's F1B30. It has a few highlights of 30 in there. Um, to me, it's not too bad. It's like a highlight here, a highlight there. But it's nothing too bad as far as the highlight is going. And the wig is a little bit more shinier than my other wig that I did a review on, which had a more yakky texture. This wig has a little bit of a yakky, silky texture. Um, I wish it had the full yakky uh, texture, but I'm not going to judge it as, as of now because I have yet to wear the wig. So once I wear it, I'll make a judgment on uh, what I really prefer. But I really like yakky textured wigs. Nothing overly yakky and nothing, you know, not yakky enough. You know, in between. But I'm going to show you the cap constructions right now. Okay, this is, it has a 4x4 four four parting space. And you know that's getting, that's becoming really, really popular on... Uh, YouTube as far as the weeks are, are concerned, the 4x4 parting and brown sugar uh, has a lot of that and I've seen that for a little bit now. Um, it's one of the first units I've seen doing that and it is a silk lace. This lace is not as stretchy um, as some of the lace that I've seen it on before but has a silk base with a lace with lace. So the lace goes from ear to ear I don't know that there's no lace on the back, but it does have two combs in the front, right here, and a comb in the back with adjustable straps, and it does have ventilation in between the tracks on this unit. It's a, you know, regular brown complexion unit, and I mean, um, lace. To me, the hairline looks like it could use a little work because it's round. It's pretty round and um, simple, so it could use a little work to it. So I'm going to cut the lace on this wig, and I'll be back. No, I'm going to try the wig on with the lace first, and then I'll be back after I cut the lace and apply it to my head. I do not be coming outside like this, y'all. <laughs> My camera's getting dark. I don't know why. No, my laptop is dying. The laptop did not die, guys. It did not die. So I'm trying to look at it <laughs> in the viewfinder. The lace is pretty good. It looks pretty. Um, it doesn't look like it's uh, that detectable. I did get another unit from Brown Sugar about four weeks ago on my birthday. Um, it was a beautiful wig. I think it was BS604. And when I tell you it was thick, but it was gorgeous. My best friend came up from South Carolina, but I live in New York City. And she didn't believe that it was a synthetic, a synthetic unit. But since these units are human hair and synthetic mix then you can see why it looks so real but this wig in particular looks a little bit shiny to me not a lot of bit shiny but a little bit shiny um compared to the other brown sugar units that i have, i have worn before so i'm going to go ahead and cut the lace
go ahead and cut the lace off and see how this unit fits on my head. I might do some um, work to the the um, hairline on the unit. Maybe make some baby hairs. I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go off camera and cut the lace and I will be back. Okay, this is this is the... This is the wig after I've cut off the lace. Um, right off the bat, I will say that it fits pretty snug, so I don't think it's big head friendly. My hair is corn rolled down, so even with that, it is still pretty snug. It has soft lace, which I love soft lace over hard lace because I don't like anything rough on my edges. Um, but the hard, the soft lace on this unit does lift up a little bit it's not really rolling up but it's actually lifting up so I am going to adhere this wig down to my head I feel like the hairline does not look as natural with um, our baby hairs so I'm going to go in and cut some baby hairs in it but I like the cut and style it's definitely like a, a, a bumped unit uh, sorry it's a bumped unit so there's a lot of uh, volume in this hair which is cool. As time goes on, the hair may get a little bit less silky and more of that, you know, after you've had your wig for a while, how the texture could actually be. The texture on the wig could actually go from being silky to yakky due to it being weathered. So I do believe that this wig will get a little bit more yakky like I like it and not as shiny. But I heard in other colors as I watched reviews, no one said it was super shiny. Everybody said it looked natural. So... You know, and since it has that 4x4 four four parting, you can part it anywhere. I probably will not define the part. I probably would not define the part. But this is like the only color they had besides like a color number one on the website that I ordered it from. So that's why I got this color. I thought number one would be too dark and too shiny because, you know, zig. But um, I think the way it looks pretty has a lot of movement. Let me turn to the back so you can see the back. The side. So, this may be an everyday wig. Um, the captain wig I had on at the beginning of the video, that wig wouldn't be an everyday wig because that wig is blonde and I have on makeup right now, but on a normal day, I do not wear makeup normally. So, I'm thinking that this wig could be an everyday wig. I think I can just do like my little eyeliner, mascara, lip gloss like I normally do and go and I'll be fine with it. But, I'm going to go off camera again and I'm going to put some baby hairs on the unit and adhere her down because I do think she's that gorgeous and um, see how I like it then see if I can get a few styles out of it also so I'll be back so overall I got some baby hairs in the front overall I like the wig the reason why I like it is because I just feel like it's so versatile you don't have to just wear it like in the middle part you can just switch apart and do like flip overs and whatever and it looks really like natural and like something you could actually go to a salon and get done so I'm happy about the wig I hope that you like this review if you did please rate comment and subscribe y'all please subscribe to me I have a small amount of subscribers which I love but I want some more subscribers and please like comment and subscribe feel free to ask me any questions that you want to and that's it for this wig review, this is Brown Sugar's BS601 in this color 1B27. I think it's 1B27. And I, I enjoy the wig. It's a little shiny, but I can deal with that. Um, other than that, this wig is definitely a gorgeous cut and style, and I'm going to enjoy wearing her out tonight. So definitely rate, comment, subscribe. All links will be below. Get at your girl.